welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a home educating mum of three from the UK. And today we are doing another Home Educate With Me video. Um, I recently did a poll and you said you wanted to see more footage of the children doing their learning. So I um, wanted to share this with you today. And before we go any further, I will say this is a paid promotion video with Reading Eggs. And we are very excited to partner with them. We've used Reading Eggs since Charles was beginning to read uh, four or five years ago. And he's now coming up 10 and is still loving the program. And both Bessie and Albert are using it now. And I, yeah, I'm just so excited about using this with all three of them now at the same time. It's a bit of a juggle making sure that everyone's got tablet battery and who's on the laptop and so on and so forth. But it's a really, really great program. If you haven't checked it out, there will be a code at the end of this video for you to get 30 days free to give it a really, really good try. I always think when you're offered a week trial, it's just not long enough, especially if life gets in the way and you're like, oh no, I've only got one day left and we still haven't done it. That happens to me so often when it's just a seven day trial. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be great. I'll sign up for that and then I forget about it. And then you have to use a new email address if you wanna try it. And if they've had a go, you've lost all that progress and it's just a nightmare, isn't it? So 30 days free gives you a real good chance to have a good go on it. And I hope that you will take them up on that offer and really, really enjoy it too. So we're gonna to go to Charles now and see what he's working on as some really cool things that he wants to share with you about reading eggs. Uh, I'm gonna do math seeds first. It's loaded. Do you like that you're able to choose between math seeds and reading express, like which one you can do first? Yeah. I haven't really changed my person. I'm just a big old man trousers. Do you like the characters? Do you think they're fun? Yeah. yeah. I've got this laughing parrot fish, I think. I'm very sure I've done this. Maps. Show us again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've done this map, so I think that's going to be like a line. Something. Are we ready to go shopping now, Waldo? That's right. Now count how many coins are left. Choose the number. Well done. You took the price of the blue tie away from the ten pounds. Yeah, I know mean, what you Ten, mean. take away eight, leaves two change. I know, I literally just put that out. <laughs> A ten pound note is worth the same as ten one pound coins. You already said that. Take six coins away. Chelsea. Yeah. Or change. Right, Chelsea, so you've done your maths. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Um, now I'm going to do reading. There's reading eggs, which is then for three, like three-year-olds and seven-year-olds, it says there. Um, and then reading express is the, um, the older one that's then seven to thirteen. And how old are you? I'm nine. Not long till you're ten. Nope. That's really old. Kings. Is that, so do you like the stories all the way through Reading Express? Yeah, there's um some there's some really interesting ones. Yeah. Lighthouse and Lucy. So this this is the book. Chapter two, the bellowing fork hall. Oh. You like to read it yourself? Yeah. Chapter 2, The Bellowing Foghorn. A week later, a thick grey fog rolled over the lighthouse. Lucy couldn't see a thing. Hips couldn't see the, see the light from the lighthouse. Like it or not, Lucy had to start the foghorn. Hips could sink if they ran into the jagged rocks. The foghorn told Hips to stay away. After a while, Lucy listened to his lovesick call. Woo! It made her smile. And also, in the other story, um, the 
uh, Ghost of Asada chains kept clanking. She was like, you need to stop clanking your chains. But then after a while, she gets used to it. Now she's getting used to the sail going, woo, the, the sail, the seal going, woo. And I bet in the next story, she'll get used to another thing. And I, I think that maybe in the end, her lighthouse will be full of random things that are all going like, woo, he, ah, mm. And then it's now she loves loud, and then she loves loudness. Now the quiz. After a while, how did Lucy re 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 what? Re react 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 to see Lion's love call? He smiled. <whistles> you. Who or what was making the sound? Woo! This is question two out of six. Uh, it was a big brown sea lion. Like it or not, Lucy had to start the four corn. What did what does this sentence tell you? Uh, Lucy would rather not stop, start the four corn. How how does Lucy sound when she says Shh, no bell on here? Uh, forceful. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He vowed he would be quiet. Which of these following could replace the word vows? Promised? Yeah. Down below, a big brown sea, sea lion was sitting on a rock. What's the action verb for this sentence? Sitting. Because it's like doing something. Well done. Wee. And you got some eggs? Yeah. Oh, well. What's your reward? So it's you can choose a realm door to claim my reward. So it's a little card, so I can have Fantastica or something, beast weird beast things, animals. I, I don't really know what these. Astrotech, starstruck, Star and worlds. Worlds. I really like that animals. So let's see what animal did I get? I got a cricket. <laughs> so it's like with those bear yo-yo cards, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Oh, and I need to show you something. <laughs> Empress, um, go to my apartment. Ooh. Oh, so is this like your um, like the fun bit where you can relax after you've done your lesson? Yeah, like you can buy stuff and look, I have a hamster. Oh, like your hamster Poppy? Yeah. All of our friends on our channel have seen Poppy the hamster now. They saw the video that you filmed. Yeah. Everyone liked it. <laughs> uh, so if I go to the trading card room. Ah, is this where you've got your cards? Mm-hmm. So as you can see, I have three out of 214 animals and one out of 93 beasts. So 96. I have one, oh, sorry, 96. Um, I did have this, but then I traded it for a Thunderbird. Cool. Looks like a phoenix, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. And there it is. Also, you can print out your cards. That's cool. So it's not just a learning app. You can no. play on it too. Yeah, and then I have a, a cricket, as you saw I just got. And then I have this, a great white shark. I swapped that. I can't remember which one I had though when I swapped. Um, so, Charlie, yeah, would you recommend reading eggs to other people who watch to the people who watch our channel? Yes, it's yeah. very fun. It's learning, but it's also there's also a lot of fun games you can do. So even if their child is not just learning to read, you're <laughs> munching on your cereal. Even if a child's not le just learning to read. Even if they're older like you and already reading and already really, you know, doing lots of maths, you still think that it would be a really good choice yeah. to change Yeah, if they're just starting to read, well, there's a uh, reading aid, which just kind of is the basic stuff like, let, let's find the letter A. Can you find all of the letter A's? Yeah, and then what um, about for children who are like your age? Um, for my age, then, as you saw, there's, uh, there's this, there's the, um, there's, um, Reading Express, which is more like more like level, le like the stuff, but it's like leveled up. So, do you think that it's it's a bit more grown up? Yeah, it's like the it's like grown up the grown up reading eggs. That's why it's called Reading Express. And you don't, mm. yeah. Okay then, it's time to say goodbye to you now, Mr. Charles, and we'll see Bessie next. Bye bye.
So Charles, as you can see, really, really loves reading Eggs and Math Seeds and he won't use anything else. And if anyone knows how hard it is to convince an autistic child to do something they don't want to do, then they will know that there is no point even trying. We just have to use reading eggs. Let's have a look at Bessie. Bessie is using um, a mixture of the Fast Phonics and the Reading Eggs program. Bessie is current is also autistic like Charles and is currently we are exploring the fact that she may be dyslexic and there are a lot of programs out there that ate, that market themselves as being designed for people with dyslexia but for some reason those have never worked for Bessie she finds them boring or she just doesn't enjoy them in the same way but reading eggs again she always comes back to she likes on the maps you have those little um, there's little figures that you can earn after you've done a certain amount of lessons and they move and they do different things and she loves that she loves the little whimsy the whimsiness of the eggs and the characters as well and then she finds the learning really engaging and that's what we want for people who are struggling to read who and, and, and if they're like Bessie who love books and love reading and desperately want to learn to read what you want to do is engage them and to keep them engaged and reading eggs really really does that for Bessie so let's check her out um, she has consented to being filmed I know you don't know, see her very often because she doesn't like being filmed but today she has agreed to show you because reading eggs and math seeds are her favorite thing ever so let's see what she's getting up to and what she has to say about reading eggs hey Bessie we, we were, I was just saying in my introduction that we don't get to see you on the channel very often because you feel a bit, you, you're a bit shy, aren't you? So everyone's probably super excited to see you. And I know that you really like reading eggs, don't you? And you are really excited that we partnered with them for this video. What would you like to show our friends first? Would you like to show reading eggs, fast phonics, or math seats? What are you going to show us first? Oh, oh, she picked. She's picked, oh, there's a menu screen. She's picked Fast Phonics. That person. A Yeti. A Yeti? So instead of an, an egg or an acorn, you've got a Yeti to help you through your, your I'll, work? I'll show you what this does. You want to show us? Okay. Once I, <gasps> once I get mm. this treasure chest, his house will change. Wow. So you're working your way through so his house will change? Yeah. And I'm already d made my way to that star, but for some reason we had to redo it. Oh, okay. Snowballs. Yeti is collecting snowballs. Look at the sign and choose the ones that match. Tap the snowballs that match. Bessie's also munching on some cereal, aren't you, mm. Bessie? <laughs> <laughs> it's very snowy. <laughs> I like how Yeti is encouraging you along. Do you like fast phonics? Do you yeah. think it's good? Yeah. I have to keep going and stuff. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't do anything. I just so make sure you press the left hand side, not the right hand side, okay? <laughs> so would you, if if any of our viewers have children that are are learning to read, do you think that they should try Fast Phonics? Yeah. Yeah. It's on Reading Eggs though. It's on Reading Eggs, yeah. You can go on to Reading Eggs and it's one of the options. It just adds something a bit different, doesn't it? I didn't press that. <laughs> What's going on with you today? Charles went through all of it and he didn't click anything else. I'm not clicking anything. Oh, wait, wait. Why is the arrow not coming? Arrow. Skill. So if you press the wrong one, does it hit him with the snowball? Yes. Oh. One of these come over and take whack this him with the snow. You don't really want to whack him with a snowball, do you? Mm -mm. <laughs> so much whack me because they're really annoying him. <laughs> they're really annoying him. That's what's in this. Oh, they look cheeky. I don't want to smell. Are you going to collect your, your gem and your coins? Oh yeah, look what I do. You won't collect them. Like. See, they're up there. Oh, cool. Okay. I just ran and I got one gem. We'll move on to number three. Letter A. Ah. Yeah, it's a little video. Do you like the videos? Alligator. <laughs> 
the alligators eat apples. Do you want to do it again or do it next? Do, do it next. What's okay. next? Now this is the actual one. Yeah. And that's so. Ah, oh, okay. So you learn. So on the ones with the gem, is that where you learn a new letter? Yeah. And then you do an exercise learning about the letter. Yeah. Oh my god. Why is this moving? Is that the arrow moving? Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. Miss Bessie. Now you've had to go with fast phonics. You're gonna show. Are you gonna show us reading eggs now? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so we can look at the screen. So right we've got this where you can dress up yourself. Oh yeah, cool. Show us the cool features, not just the learning stuff. The cool features too. Yep. So we've got here. Is my house. This oh. is my weird person. I do not know why. I haven't got the head yet, but you if you click here. Ah! The computer does not like you today, does it? Yes. <laughs> if you click here you go into to play games. If you click here you go into the library. If you click here, you go into your rewards. If you click here bum bum bum. You go to design. Oh, so this is how you can change your avatar? Yeah. And oh, I yeah, I like, you've got like a fairy and a queen's robe and a flower. Oh, my God, what happened? How do I do this? <laughs> right, so you've had a little play, and now you're going to do your learning, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we're going to give, read it, show everyone reading eggs. Oh! I did not do what that. What happened there? Ah, I don't... So what does it say? What looks good? Snowy, Sammy, Teddy, or Bozo? No, it doesn't. You think snowy? Yep. Do you like that they ask your opinion on stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, everyone else agrees. Everyone first. Snowy is first, like you. Okay. So these are the characters. I've got her body, her, her arms, so I'm behind him. Yeah. And her legs. Cool. So. For some reason, when I press the readers, it put me on here. Oh. <laughs> so, wait, what? So, Bessie, I was telling everyone in my introduction that Where you really you? like all these like little whimsical characters that do little yeah. dances. Will you show you some of them to us? I show. Okay. Anyway, we got you saw him. Yeah. Then I had him. Does he do anything? What happened? Oh, whoa, somersault! Then we saw this. Left click. Oh, wait. No, it was this, this, yeah. this. I was telling everyone that you really like these little whimsical characters, don't and they? They, the, the they add a little bit of fun, don't they? Yeah, and then we got this guy. Whoa, he's cool. He's a racing beetle. So it's what the lesson point. are you on? The butterfly. 27. I've already passed all these levels. Do you want to watch this? A little show. Go on then. Wow, you completed another 10 lessons. You are really learning how to read. Have you been to your reading X house? Isn't it great? You can go up and down the lift. Oh, so it shows you other things you can do. Mm-hmm. Got the two show. These aren't like that. These are proper shows. Cool. Will you show us your lesson? What kind okay. of things are you working on? Why does this keep happening? I think oh, it's so. press. I think you keep keep pressing the wrong button. So will you click on your lesson? What are you up to at the moment? So right now I'm. Hello. Look what I've got in my head. <laughs> click on. 
I gotta click on up. Okay, so. I'm gonna zoom in so our friends can see. Oh! It came oh. out of his hat again. Yeah, that's what it does. So basically. You keep right clicking, that's why. I know, per I'm pressing this one. Okay. Now it's a little something. So what do you think about reading eggs, Betty? Do you think that our friends should should give it a try? Yeah, sure. So you have you have um, been struggling to learn to read for a while now, haven't you? Like you've not found it easy. Do you think reading eggs makes it feel a bit easier for you? Yes, because it involves fun games um. and. It teaches me how to listen properly because I can listen to the words when I pick it up. Listen. It says it and I can, then I can remember it. So you think it helps you with your listening skills and it's helping you learn to read and making it fun while you do it? And then it, it so it shows me what they look like so I can remember what, the, what they look like. Oh, so it helps you with sight reading too? You help to remember what the words look like? Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. And I really like doing this, but once when it was blah, I did a dot to dot. You want to see? So when you work, so you've got all of those. Are those all of your less, all of your activities for this lesson? Yep. Yeah, this is the dot to dot. Oh, so once you finish the words, you get to do a dot to dot of the letter O. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Unless it's your letter O that you've. Done. So every day it's a different letter. Cool. So, so it, it starts from A and goes all the way to the end of the ABC. Cool. So right now we're on O. Oh. So what do you think is going to go next? I think they teach you. In, they teach you in a phonetic order, don't they? So maybe you'll have. Have you had go yet? Um. Have you had go. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What about? It said girl in the hay. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know what's going to be next. We'll have to look it up, won't we? So we're going to leave you to it now. Thank you for showing us all of the stuff that you're enjoying doing on reading. Wait, can I show you one more thing? Okay, show us one more thing. I have to go off of this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's nice to see you really excited about playing, playing um, a game that is also learning. I'm trying to remember that there's a music place there. Uh, it will sh show, I'll show you a song. Okay, my, show us a song and then we'll say it's goodbye. It's my favourite song. Internet. So it will show up with lots of songs here. I'm going to show you the funniest one. Who is it? What do you I really like it. What do you want? What do you want? What is what you looking at? Can you see? Uh, go back a bit. Go back. back. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Listen. Show us the song. Are you having a dance? <laughs> Is that your favourite song on reading yeah. eggs? <laughs> Thank you for showing us, Bessie. Bye bye. Bye. So there you go. There was Charles and Bessie putting on a show for you so you could see reading eggs and math seeds in its entirety. I had almost an hour of footage between the three children. I actually had to cut Albert out because it just made it way too long. Uh, but I am going to show you that in another video that's not part of the promotion. So you can see the workbooks, have a flick through that he's using um, as part of, to supplement reading eggs. Now, obviously we are a channel all about home education, but if you are, if you're watching because you've been thinking about home education or you did, now your kids are back in school, or maybe I know some of you are flexi schooling, some of you have kids in school, some of you have kids who are home ed, you can still use Reading Eggs. Reading Eggs is a great program for children who are at school as well. It really supplements the national curriculum. And if there's something that they're struggling with, Reading Eggs can kind of reinforce that 
um, the stuff that they've learned at school as well as supplementing you if you are home educating. So it's definitely worth a go. What you need to do is go onto the Reading Eggs website. So that's www.readingeggs.co.uk forward slash BTS60. So readingeggs.co.uk BTS60. So I will include a little screen at the end that has that for you so you can pause it and just read it. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to Reading Eggs for partnering, up, partnering with us for this video. We really, really enjoyed it and we can't wait to keep using the programme and progress all the way through. So we will see you on Monday for another home education video. Thank you so much. Bye. Chasing